Uh, just uh, great effort. Super proud of our guys. Uh, what a gritty, gritty win. Um, you know, and it was just kind of our whole season rolled into one game. And uh, very proud of our guys for the resiliency uh, and the buy-in um, when things weren't going our way early and in the middle of the game. And then late, we just kept uh, rolling through it. We never stopped believing. Our young guys were providing great leadership you know, and all the timeouts, just reminding guys we were going to win this game and staff was great. Just a great, great team win for the Beavs. Thank you. Okay, questions for coach, starting with uh, Hayden Herrera. Hayden, go ahead. Hey coach, uh, congrats on the win. Um, what was the biggest thing you guys had to do in the second half to, to turn around and, and force overtime? Well, we had to play with a lot more intensity on the defensive end. Um, we told our guys if they did that and then started making unselfish plays offensively by executing our offense, the lid was going to come off of it. But I said that'll only happen if we start sharing the thing a little bit. Um, and so they, they defended. They started making plays for each other. Uh, and then um, we crept back into that thing pretty quickly. And from there, they just kept believing that it was a uh, – and he, a lot of things went against us, but they never dropped their chins. They kept believing. So unbelievable resiliency. And then obviously we made free throws late. Um, Warith was a monster. We, we had to have a post presence. Um, and uh, he was big for us. And then timely threes and, and then making, um, you know, free throws down the stretch was big. Nick Dashwell, go ahead. Wayne, this is a, the fourth time this season you guys have come back from a double digit out deficit to win a game what what is it what characteristic is it about this team where you can look them in the eye in a timeout or anything and, and just know that that doesn't bother them at all well they know how passionate we are they see it from day one um sometimes it takes a little while for that to trans transition over to them um but this this team has been special that way they've really fed off of our passion um and have bought in. And so we, we feel like, um, although, although we, we put ourselves in, in some tough positions, we've got to kind of make up the kind of character because those, 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 those are the things we look at in recruiting first and foremost, um, that nothing's too high for us. We can come back from it. And, uh, you know, this year, obviously, um, from where, you know, some people thought we were going to be and what we were going to have, you know, we, um, We've, we've had a, a special fire um, and uh, it's just uh, neat to see. Um, I, I couldn't be more proud of how far this group's come. And, you know, we started this a while back, you know, when we got down here, we, we, re, we reminded the guys of last year and all that's happened. Um, you know, that group really got the momentum going for us and these guys are feeding off of it. Um, and it's, it's just a special feeling. Um, I know it's a, it's a proud moment for the staff when they see that moment happen. And um, I know I'm rambling here, but before the game, we talked about when we turned the season around and it was after we got uh, boat raced at home. Uh, and, and the three things we talked about the next day were um, if we all buy into executing the plan, playing harder than our opponent and enjoying each other out on the floor that was going to be the game was a success. And we said, we don't know whether that will translate to wins yet right away, but it will eventually. And that's when we flipped our season and uh, credit, credit to the guys just for the kind of character, resiliency and toughness that they continue to show. Jesse. Wayne, you mentioned uh, earlier when I talked to you that that maybe we should expect a, an unsung performance uh, tonight. Uh, Zach Reichel hasn't been a, a huge scorer for you this season, but maybe was he that, that guy today? He was huge in the second half, especially. Um, you know, you get to this point of the season and, and your, your thoroughbred's got to lead you to the finish line. And we, we didn't have a great first half. Um, but I thought the way he responded in the second half, uh, Ethan's decision making in the second half. Um, obviously, Ethan making a lot of free throws. Warith, the way he stepped up. Jared, Jared kept us, you know, uh, afloat there in the first half for a while, and then hit a couple monumental ones in the second half. Rodrigue having eight and ten off the bench. I mean, we had a lot of guys contribute, but 
um, you, you know, you're right. I think Zach's performance, we've been looking for him to have success to boost his confidence. I mean, we've been begging him to shoot the dang ball all year long. We are glad to see him let it fly. Um, so proud of him and proud of the rest of the guys' efforts. But talk to the guys that got it done. I appreciate you all. Go Beast.